welcome back, everyone. This is theCUBE, live in San Francisco at AT&T Park. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Age. I'm joined with Jeff Kelly, co-host here, chief analyst at Wikibon for the Big Data Practice, and what a great event, because we are having a special broadcast with all the mega stars, the tech athletes in the tech business, CIO of the Giants, President of the Earthquakes, executives at the Sharks, the Warriors, uh, you name it, they're all here, the Niners. Really amazing, these, these are tech athletes. Mm -hmm. In our world, they're tech athletes, and uh, we're super excited to have HP sponsor us. Chris Thielen, welcome to theCUBE. Um, our key sponsor and supporter of this. The vision that to do this was really incredible uh, on your part to support us, because you know, you're a tech athlete yourself, so, but, but this is about, about leadership. You, yeah. People process change is a big part of it. It's nothing to do with the technology. If you take away the giants and the sports names mm -hmm. and substitute financial services, retail, oil and gas, whatever vertical, right. the game is still the same. Competitive advantage, you use your business, use your data. Mm -hmm. So it's a fun time. Yeah, it's an, I can't tell you how many times I use the phrase big data analytics is changing the game. You know, and people are saying, what's big data ultimately about and what's big data really mean? It really means that being effective in using your data and you know, understanding your customers, your suppliers, your operations, your you know, that's that's what it's all about these days. And so, you know, and I, I'm pretty involved personally in youth sports, and when you talk to kids, you're always like, you yeah, know, it's a game, but you learn life lessons from it, right? So, and I think it, other industries can learn lessons from what's going on in this one. So, we're really excited to be here, we're really excited to sponsor this event. Great, great vision on your part. We're really proud to, to work with you on this, and, and we're proud to, to, to do it in other cities as well. You got some customers here, you got some people networking, doing some business. But at the end of the day, it's about big data. Sports is a fun thing to do, we love it. But you know, we talk about mobile first in the industry, everything's mobile first. The CEO of Microsoft today is talking about cloud first. But really, it's about data first. So let's talk about data first. If you look mm -hmm. at the data landscape, we're now at the tipping edge of what people are going to start to do with data. Developers want the data. We heard from the data science, we have the earthquakes. Guy was doing data science. The guy at the nine, at nine, uh, 49ers is doing mm -hmm. data science. Yeah. Data first, what's your, what's your vision on data well, first? Well yeah, absolutely, it's data first. I think one of the reasons mobile is so important in this industry, obviously when you have fans sitting in the stadium, that's the way they interact, right? I mean, you go to any game these days and everybody's on their phone, so at least until their battery dies or until the Wi-Fi gets too crowded, but um, yeah, no, I, it's absolutely data first. I mean, it's understanding fan engagement, it's understanding you know what's going on in the field in some cases. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff being done with that kind of data, you know? And it's it's very analogous to what's going on in all these other industries. So, yeah, absolutely, it's data first. So what about NASCAR, another sport mm -hmm. that has a lot of instrumentation? And that word instrumentation is kicking its way into the world of big data. Obviously, you're instrumenting things, yep. you collect data. Mm -hmm. And now the word data processing is back in vogue. That's yeah. an old mainframe term. Data, because people now are processing data. It means data is at the center of the value proposition. Yeah. So talk a little bit about what's going on with things like NASCAR and how instrumental it is to quote instrument. Well, you know, yeah, it's instrumentation, but it's really, I mean, that's a great illustration of real time is what it really is. Because ultimately what they're trying to understand is media engagement and fan engagement. So, you know, so if you look at somebody like NASCAR, like there was an example, um, there was a race not too long ago, I think it was a Brickyard 300 where um, you know, sadly, although nobody, I guess, was killed, as I understand, but there was a crash, and the cameras cut away. And as soon as the cameras cut away, people started tweeting like crazy, like, I don't want to see it, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean you should show it, but it's, you know, it gives you a decision point, it gives you real-time feedback on what people want, what people want to see, what they care about. You know, obviously in a moment like that, um, there's a lot of passion involved and there's generally a lot of passion both ways, but having that information in real time really teaches you something. So. Before Jeff gets his question, I want to ask one more question before Please. he goes. You've been a big part of the HP turnaround with the big data group, okay, Vertica. Yep. HP Vertica's been a big success story within HP. You've been a big part of that. Um, tell us, what's going on in the cutting edge of, of the big data world relative to your customer base? Obviously, uh, business is good on your, your end. What's happening? Yeah, I mean, well, we're, we're fundamentally a platform business. We're kind of the big data analytics platform inside of HP. We've got the support of this, you know, giant worldwide, well-known brand, and I think in a lot of ways, beloved brand. That's one of the, that's been one of the most gratifying things about, you know, kind of being part of, I don't know, I don't like the word comeback. I just like, you know, the fact that we're doing well, we're growing, business is growing, you know, people are talking about HP, and, um, you know, we've got services, we've got infrastructure, we've got, all the support behind us. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been really great to be a part of that. So, you know, business is a sport too, and it's, uh, 
you know, uh, yeah, there might have been a couple seasons where the playoffs maybe weren't quite made, but you know, it's uh, things are things are humming on all cylinders right now. You know, it's, uh, it's get fun. beer, it's, as they say it's in Boston. Fun, right? but, you know, it's it's fun to be it's fun to be a part of the team. Let's put it that way. So. Uh, so, so one of the things, you know, our first two guests here at the Sports Data SB, we, we didn't even really talk a lot about the technology itself that's mm -hmm. kind of supporting a lot of the data-based decisions that they're making. Mm -hmm. um, from Vertica's perspective, how do, you, how do you communicate with, you know, customers, prospective customers, um, and make that, that balance between the conversation around here's the technology, speeds and fees, mm -hmm. and here's the business value. Here's, mm -hmm. here's how it's going to actually move your business forward. Um, because you know, I think as we're as we're moving, you know, this in the big data mm -hmm. world, we're kind of moving from that early adopter to more of the mainstream adopter. And yeah. I, I see the conversation shifting, or at least it needs to shift. How do you approach that? Yeah, well, I think a lot of times. I mean, it depends on the conversation, but a lot of times when I'm talking to customers and potential customers, I like to sort of talk about exploratory analytics versus sort of production analytics because. You know, a lot of the work that's gone on today is an exploratory, where we have a lot of data, we don't really know what it means, we don't really know what it says, we might have some ideas, we're not really sure what to do with it. Um, you know, we don't necessarily need it real time. I mean, there is, you know, it's funny, I was, um, I was at another conference earlier this week, and I heard a bunch of sessions talking about price, you know, how much big data costs and how much it costs to manage big data. And then there were other sessions talking about performance. But you didn't really see anybody talking about price performance. You know, and I mean, think about it in sports. You know, it's funny. I noticed you guys did invite my friend Billy Bean. But, or, or maybe he chose not to come because it's enemy territory here, right? But, you know, you talk about price performance, right? I mean, that's what Moneyball is all that's about, it. right? It's about getting the most from your investments. And that's really what most businesses are trying to do. You know, not everybody can be the Yankees in their industry and outspend their company competitors so and the same thing's true with data right you got to understand like what what are really the key areas where you really have to invest heavily because you need absolute real-time up to the minute performance there are other areas that it may not necessarily be you know you might have you know I won't do too many sports business analogies but a deeper bench you know yeah. or it just might not be that critical to you know your uh, um, you know, to your, your overall strategy, right? So, so it's really making those decisions because it's trade-offs. I mean, ultimately, you know, again, if you are the Yankees of your industry and you can afford that spend everybody, yeah, you can probably press for maximum performance in every area, but most of us in our businesses don't face that. We have, we have to make trade-offs and we have to make decisions. Yeah, I would say uh, the majority of businesses out there are not in a position where they flush with cash. And right, just and I know I'm sitting with Boston guys here, so, you know, bringing up the Yankees is... That's yeah, true. It's exactly. a little bit of a source, but we'll let that one Well, I'm yeah, a big fan of Je Jeter's <laughs> last season. has been amazing. I mean, that guy, you know, props to, to him. No matter mm -hmm. what fan base you are, by far the best Yankee of all time, in my opinion. Well, but You're not a Mo guy, then, so... <laughs> I, I've heard a lot of people saying that about Mo, but I don't know. It's, you know... Anyway, I'm a Met fan, so... Oh, geez, another yeah, Mets fan. Yeah, I never heard of him. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, but I think you, you bring up a good thing. You think Mo Vaughn, right? So, no, no, Mo Vaughn, definitely okay. not the greatest French sauce of all time. No, no, he's probably not in that conversation. But <laughs> so you We can digress into some Route we, 1 conversations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we could. Is it late enough at night to do that? I, I know. Let's yeah, yeah, stay on yeah, task. Do that later off camera. Yeah. So. Uh, but I think yeah, the price performance question is important because. Mm -hmm. But that's again, that's a business question. It's about yes. it's about making you know setting priorities in your business. Yes. Um, so again, how do, does does Vertica at HP Vertica at H, or HP generally? Mm -hmm. um, engage customers in those conversations? Is that part of your value proposition? Is not just the technology, but we're going to help you uh, kind of make those important business decisions? Yeah, it is. You know, I mean, Vertica has always been very much about high performance at scale. You know, truly big data when you're getting up into many terabytes, petabytes of data and you really need performance. That's That's been sort of the core sweet spot for Vertica all along. You know, we uh, started shipping our FlexZone product in December and that actually gives us kind of a bridge to the worlds of Hadoop and NoSQL as well. For some of that data, you might want to do more exploratory work on it. You might not necessarily want to invest quite as much because you don't know what you have yet. And then if you decide this is important data, you can then fully materialize it. So we're kind of trying to build bridges to other area. But the, the key is, you know, it's funny, I was asked at this other conference I was at this week, you know, uh, what's overhyped? And I think everybody thought I was going to say Hadoop or something like that. And, and I don't. I mean, we're actually big fans of Hadoop. But I think to me, what's overhyped is anything for everything is kind of the way I answered it. Like there's a single big data solution that's right for all problems. Right. That's not true. And I think what's happening in the market right now, it's just like, you know, go back to baseball analogy, right? You know, a good shortstop is not your best first baseman. You know, what you, who you have in center field is not probably not your best catcher. So, and you need a portfolio of talents, portfolio of skills, and portfolio of technologies. So, 
we obviously, you know, in particular as we start to talk about HP Haven, we've got a pretty broad portfolio of not just products, but products and services across the company. But, you know, obviously Hadoop is the H in Haven, so we see a role for that. Mm -hmm. And so we try to have a very broad ecosystem as well that really allows us to serve right, a lot. I got to ask the most important question. Yeah. What do you think about the guests so far? The, 40, yeah. the 49ers have yet to come on, the Sharks have to come on, mm -hmm. you have the Giants and the Earthquakes. So far, critique. What's your take about their about well, their business? I well, want to get your your tech athlete. It's been awesome. I've actually had a chance to meet everybody personally and talk to them one on one. I've actually been so busy because this place is packed. I've been talking to people, so I've like been in and out of the sessions. But yeah, I think the conversation's been great. And I think you know, I think the best part has been the fact that these guys have been able to relate it back to things we can all relate to, right? I mean, like you said, it's not necessarily just about the team or about the sport. But I mean, there's a lot of general. The passion there, is so. Dave's passion. Yeah. Was got, you get a lot of applause, Bill. It's just you hear him saying, "I work 81 games. We get in the morning, everyone else. I leave at 11 mm -hmm. o'clock. Yep. Sounds like what we do is looking at the cube. You know, we broadcast 24/7 marathon. Yeah. But th they're normal people doing a, a, a fun job mm -hmm. in sports. But yet now, the pressure is there. The pressure is absolutely there. It's you know, it's I mean, sports is a really brutal business, right? It's like. You know, and I mean, these guys are talking about the business side, but whether you're a player or, you know, it's, I mean, careers are very short and, you know, your performance is right there. And not only is it right there every day, but it's in the papers every day. So, you know, and that's ultimately at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Yeah, but so, they get a ring. Mm -hmm. They do get a ring. <laughs> he got a ring. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I got a wristband, so. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about what's on tap for HP Vertica. We know we've got your uh, HP Vertica Big Data Conference coming up yes, uh, this do. summer, where yeah. the Cube will be, and we're looking forward to that. Yep. Uh, but tell us a little bit about what's on your roadmap uh, over the next uh, six months to a year. Yeah, well, you know, we just shipped Vertica 7, so in terms of product, we've got a new release out, which includes the FlexZone product, so that came out in December. Um, we've been, you know, hitting various industry events, obviously this one being, you know, we're really, I mean, it's funny because I always say there's like new big data shows and conferences being launched every day, which kind of shows how hot the market is right now. But yeah, we've got our own uh, big data conference coming up the week of August 11th. Uh, we'd love to have, um, you know, anybody watching this, please, please come join us. It's a conference.vertica.com. Last year we had Billy Bean, which was awesome. That's true. This year we've actually got Tom Davenport, who's more of a business guy, if you know him, Analytics yep, yep, 3.0, yeah. uh, so he's going to be our keynote speaker, but, you know, we get a wide variety of people there, we're really looking forward to that, we get HP Discover coming up in June, um, you know, we definitely have announcements coming out, I'm not really allowed to get into the specifics, but we have a lot of cool stuff that's going to be coming yeah. along. I would also say one of the coolest things we've done recently, and it's funny, I've been talking about this a lot tonight, is our Vertica Marketplace, which is where we've been inviting our partners and also our customers and developers to submit various types of add-ons and tools and technologies and parsers and um, we've got our Vertica innovations in there, so we've got about, I think, almost 100 products in there right now that add value to Vertica, so, and that's been getting great takeoff from your users Yeah, tell well. us a little bit more about that. We talked about that in Santa Clara uh, at uh, Big Data SV. Yeah. Um, we just launched the marketplace. How's uh, you know, traction happening? You're attracting a lot of developers, and, and what's kind of uh, the, the response? We're attracting developers, we're attracting partners, we're attracting customers, and you know, they're sharing with each other. They're sharing best practices, they're sharing things they've built, they're sharing tools. And you know it, it, you know it enables them not to keep beating up the sports analogies, but to sort of get in the game. And you know, for customers to be able to share with each other, you know, it's funny because um, you know our community, um, the company that we work with, uh, we work with a company called Get Satisfaction on the Vertica community, and they always show in their demos. I guess they they've told me this. I haven't actually seen one of their demos. That when you type in, uh, for instance, I want to migrate from Oracle to Vertica, our community comes up at the top of the Google rank. And, you know, so, and we have materials that talk about, like, migrating from Oracle to Vertica for anybody who might want to do that. But if you really think about it, you know, if I'm a customer and I want to do this and I search Google for it, what's more powerful than hearing from another customer, right? So to us, it's like, it's sort of like you're hearing here. You've got peers in the industry exchanging ideas with each other, right? So giving customers a platform where they can share with each other and developers and other partners and they can start to share information back and forth among themselves and then, you know, being able to expose that and have that available for others to come in and join the conversation, it means so much more. I mean, I run marketing at the company, so I love when people listen to what I and we say as a marketer. But the net net is customers really want to hear from each other. That's what we do at our big data conference, too. We, like, no pitches, you know, it's just customers talking about their experience. So, because more and more and more, that's what you're seeing, and that's where, you know, that's where all of the, the value comes from. Chris, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE and sharing what's an update on Vertica and some of the, your vision around that. And thanks for supporting 
Silicon Angle Network and theCUBE, special yeah. broadcast here at AT&T Park. Uh, great vision and uh, a lot of fun. Thanks so much. Beautiful venue, beautiful night. Pleasure to be here. Okay, we'll always. be right back with our next guest after this break.